Right, so here's a, a video that's going to support uh, how you build the mortgage table for the financial literacy question that's found in Unit 9. Um, and this is Lesson 5 from the course. So um, I'm going to be using Google uh, Sheets uh, to show how this can be done. So I've opened up a new sheet and I've just named it, given it a name called Mortgage Table. And in row 3 I've typed in our uh, main headings that we need here. So these are just things to get us started with. I've got period, payment, um, which is the monthly payment. Um, I guess we should put that in here monthly because you could have payments that are a little bit different in terms of time frame. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Um, and then we have interest calculated for that month and then the principal that is paid off portion for that month and then the balance. So the way we set our table up is we start with period zero. So period zero is when the loan first is brought out and a balance is assigned to the loan. So in this case our balance is $335,750. Um, then our next row which would be end up being period one and we'll fill that in here in a second is when the first payment is due. So you don't make the payment right away, you, you, you wait until the second month or the month after the, the loan is, is created um, to start the payment and that payment number is 2072.43 and that is brought out from the TVM um, part that is the solver. Um, from the calculator. Now on the spreadsheet um, your default numbers may not show as two zeros so in Google Spreadsheets what you can do is you can just click and drag uh, from the top rows here um, and highlight them and in the toolbar there are decimal spots here so if I click decrease decimal space I can get rid of one decimal space um, I can increase it and put more in. So I want to have this um, formatted as dollars and cents, so that's two decimal spots. So by highlighting the four columns, I am globally setting the format for those numbers. Okay, and you could even make it a little bit different if you want to do currency. You can add the dollar sign in there and it puts a comma in, which is an accounting notation. Okay, so our period, we need to calculate um, the number of periods that go down the side of the column. Now w the, the original question says that you can do 60 periods. Okay, so what you can do is if you want you can just type in 1 and then hit return 2, 3 and then you can number them manually. Okay, now I'm just going to show you another way to do this using a quick little formula trick here. So the period 1 is actually going to be just um, the previous period plus one. So what I can do is go into the cell here A5, type the equal sign, click on the cell above which is going to reference cell A4 and then just type plus one. And what that does is now instead of having us to do this manually, we're setting up a formula where the formula is going to just reference the previous cell and add one to it. So when we fill down the cell and I click and drag fill down I don't have to type in the number each time it will use a formula to automatically do that. Okay so let's just show you how that works. If I click if I in the highlighted cell which is the one that's now filled in I click on the blue dot until I get a little uh, plus sign and I'm just going to click and drag down until I get to about row 21 and then let go and what you will see is you see the numbers now calculate each other um, and increment by one because if I click on any cell what it does is it just references the previous cell and then adds one to it. Okay, So that's a, a quick way to do a fill down in Google Sheets where I just have the formula. Okay, So it's a little bit different than in Microsoft Excel than the way they show in the lesson because Excel had a function that called that was I believe called fill series where you didn't have to have the formula in it would just you could click a, 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 an option that would just um, basically make that series into an incremental set of numbers. Okay, So a little bit different in Google Sheets, it just requires you to kind of think ahead and just build the formula for that. Okay, the monthly payment. Now the monthly payment here never changes. So again, we can just click and drag this and fill this down. Okay, and the payment is always going to be the same and that's the f a feature of the mortgage, right? The, the, the calculation for that monthly payment is fixed 
and um, it's the same amount every month. Okay, but what is going to change is the interest and principal amount. So to calculate interest, we're just going to type equal sign. Okay, and then we have that formula that was shown in the spreadsheet, um, in the lesson in the spreadsheet there, and it works exactly the same way. We're going to take the previous balance, so that is the balance from period zero. We're going to then multiply this by our interest rate um, uh, formula, and then it's slightly modified so that it just calculates the interest rate, or the, the total amount of interest. So that formula was one, is we're going to have to use double brackets first, then we go 1 plus 0 0.0425, which is the interest rate per annum. But then we divide it by the compounding periods, which is two times a year. Okay, close off the bracket just once, and then we're going to raise it to the power, so that's uh, shift 6 or the caret symbol, times um, the number of compounding periods times the number of the, the payment time frame that we're looking at. So we're looking at a payment every month. So we're looking at 1 12th of a year. Okay, so that's the payments per month. All right, and then I got to close it off by subtracting 1, which is just a, uh, a math, which is just a uh, part of the formula that just lets us calculate the interest portion. And then if I hit return, I get my interest calculation of 1178.72. Okay, so there's the, the formula you see there, and then there is the, um, the interest, uh, that's the formula that calculates the interest for that. So now if I do, if I try to fill this down, I'm just going to drag it down here to 21, I only get, it appears that the formula here doesn't work. Okay, and the reason it's giving you zero at this point is because it's always referencing a cell. If I if I look, click on on row six, you can see the formula is referencing cell E5, where E5 is the balance of the um, the spreadsheet here. So I'm just going to hit undo, Command Z, okay, and just. We're just going to ignore that for now, so I'm just going to pretend I didn't fill that down, and we're going to move over to the principal side. Okay, so the principal um, is equal to the payment minus the interest, which is cell B5 um, minus B6, or C C5, so B5 minus C5. So that is the principal that is deducted from the balance in the end after the first payment. Okay, and then so the value of our loan now is going to decrease just a little bit, okay, by the value of that principal. So the way I can do that is I'm going to just move over to the balance column. I'm going to type the equal sign and I'm going to click E4, which is the, the balance above, minus the principal amount, which is D5. Okay, and then so what I get now here is a uh, a number that is decreasing, okay, just a little bit from the initial balance. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take these three columns and we just want to replicate those down, okay, and eventually you want to go to 60 periods, okay, so the way you can do that is in, in Google Sheets, you can do it very similarly to the way they showed it to you on in the Excel um, thing. We can click on cell C5 and I'm just going to highlight, click and drag and highlight um, the, the next two adjacent cells. Okay, so what you see here is we've loaded those three cells into Google Sheets and our, our fill down um, dot is ready to work here. So then what I do is I'll take my cursor, you let go, uh, let go of the mouse click, it should still stay highlighted. Take your cursor, click on the blue dot and drag down. And so what we're dragging is three columns in parallel now. And when we do that, you will see now that the interest rate is correctly calculated, Okay, or the interest amount is correctly calculated because it's based on a declining um, balance. Okay, so cell E6 is the previous one which calculates the interest here. And then you see our principal is going up because as we, um, that's a function, that's a feature of mortgages where over time the amount of interest you pay on the loan decreases and the amount of principal or equity that you gain starts to increase. So if I wanted to extend this down a little bit further here, I'm just going to go a few more rows just so that you can see it. I would go down to where my last row is. I would, I'll click and drag across to highlight the rows. 
okay, to load my rows into the fill down or into the fill function essentially in Google Sheets. Um, and then you look for the blue dot, click on the blue dot, and I'm just going to drag down a few more uh, rows. And then you will see that 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 appears. Okay, the payment remains the same. My interest keeps going down at this point, and you see that my principal keeps going up, and then the balance keeps going down. So if I were to take this all the way to 60, so you're going to have to give yourself a little bit more space here. Um, I'm just going to do one more copy here just to show you this. I, I highlight across, click on the blue dot, drag down, okay, and then there we go. So now I'm at 31 payment periods, and the balance is now at 306535 Okay, so this is how they build a mortgage table using that uh, compound interest formula. Um, and this is the actual payment, um, this is the frequency table, and this is what actually gets applied to the loan over time. So in the, in the question that you saw in the lesson, they want you to take it out to five years, which is 60 months worth of payments. Okay, and then at that point, the, that particular mortgage in this case would expires and you have to renew it, but then you have a new balance um, and potentially a new rate and there'd be a new calculation that shows up there. Okay, and uh, so that's how uh, the, the, the mortgage table is built um, using Google Sheets.